Russia and the U.S. have agreed to extend operation of the International Space Station until 2024. This allows the arrival and the follow of the station last week of an American astronaut and Russian cosmonaut who will stay aboard for an entire year. Anya Ardieva has this report from Moscow. And lift off. While bilateral cooperation between Russia and the United States has been mostly halted over Moscow's involvement in Ukraine, there is one area where the two nations simply cannot afford to impose further restrictions. That is, in space, aboard the International Space Station. Last week, two Russian cosmonauts and a U.S. astronaut set off to the ISS aboard a Russian Soyuz capsule, with two of them planning to live on the station until next March. American Scott Kelly will remain on board the ISS, which flies some 260 miles or 418 kilometers above Earth, until next March, longer than any U.S. astronaut in history. Whether it's exploration or, or the experiments that improve life on know very important to to our people and the you know in the US and the international community as a whole and hopefully you know the current uh, crews and previous crews and future crews and not just Misha myself will be furthering our goals to put uh, human humans on Mars someday the astronauts will undergo extensive medical experiments during their year in space, helping scientists to find out whether the damage done to the human body in zero gravity can be cured or reversed in order to protect crews flying to Mars in the future. NASA also said it expects the crews to make four spacewalks and to install equipment for the anticipated arrival of new U.S. commercial crew capsules in 2017. Russia is currently carrying the sole responsibility of ferrying cargo and people to the ISS after the U.S. shuttle program was shut down. Russian cosmonaut Alexandra Lazutkin has spent more than six months in space on board the Russian space station Mir in 1997. Politics is changeable, and it will eventually bring Russia and the U.S. closer together, at the very least because it is a lot more convenient to cooperate in this sphere. The 57-year-old cosmonaut says going to Mars used to be his biggest dream once. He now says he hopes to live long enough to see a mission to the Red Planet finally happen. This is NASA's first attempt at a year-long space flight. The mission won't be the longest that a human has spent in space. In the 1990s, several Russians spent 14 months to a year aboard the Soviet-built Mir space station. A trip to Mars, for instance, would take twice as long. Anya Daiva, CCTV, Moscow.